Hi, so this isn't a very original idea, but I've seen so many other people do and I think I could make an interesting video. I have compiled all of my unfinished levels from 2019 to this year and I'll go through them all. The first one, which is technically from 2018, but I have in the 2019 folder, is called Mountain View. I was inspired by like the Pinterest modern mountains sort of posts, so I just sort of like recreated a lot of them. Like this first part is eh. The biggest downside of this level is I had no idea how parallax worked or how to make good colors or interesting designs. But I did end up using the second background in a finished level of mine that's on my account and graded. <laughs> One of the main reasons I gave up on this level is because a lot of the scale hacked objects were like bugged, especially near the end of the level. And then this last background was just abysmal, so I gave up. The second level is also from 2018, I think, but it's a glow level in the style of my friend at the time, Jetty, and the title is a play on his name, so that's so funny. I gave up because it was like really unoriginal and I didn't know how to make design clearly, <laughs> but the gameplay was fun. This next level is just a layout, really, but I had this idea, which I think has been done before, where it starts in one update, and it goes to the next update, and then the next, and whatever. I just really wanted to make a nine circles part, but then it kind of just died after that. This next level was going to be a collaboration between me and my friends Vesimelon and Lud. <laughs> Vesimelon was the only one to make a part in this. Yeah, not much was done on this, but his part's cool. This next level is just a layout, but I'm pretty proud of this layout still. And it's going to be a collaboration between Howler, me, and then my one other friend at the time. Nobody really wanted to decorate this. I don't know. But it has some pretty fun sync. This next level has a pretty interesting story. It's called I Miss Whirl. Like, Jam Trash Moderator Whirl. And it was started by my friend Cthulhu. Which is funny because I was sending Cthulhu at the time. And he started making it while Whirl was away. I think he was camping or something. And... Cthulhu thought it'd be funny to make an I Miss World level be like, ah, oh, rest in peace. He sort of like gave up on it because he didn't like how it was going, and he gave it to me, and then I just sort of ruined it with some ugly effects. Hey, right here in the editor, hey bud, we miss you. <laughs> this next level might be like, like really early 2019 or like late 2018. It was an unfinished level that Lud gave me that I tried to work on, but then I ruined it. Instead of doing this level, Lud gave me a different unfinished level, which I ended up finishing, and that was my first rate. There's this level I named Neon Metropolis, and I had like a lot of like ideas written down. It was like a really ambitious level, which is why I just didn't feel like doing it. And also because the gameplay just really sucked. In the end, I have some really just poorly made gears. I had some neat ideas here, I just wish I was better. Plus, the level is almost three minutes long. I think my longest rated level is like a minute 30. And this is like really late 2019. It was just like some random idea dump level I had, and then I poorly made my friends Sona in the end part kind of cringe. Also in 2019, I had this idea for like a sequel to my level Talene, and I wanted to make just art of things and just make it really effect heavy, kind of like the original, but like just better. So I ended up making art of Twig from the show Hilda, but I did use the Twig art in a collaboration. And then like really, really late 2019, I was really like demotivated and I'm like, man, I need to get a level out. So I tried to do a style I'd use in like a dozen different levels, but I just did it really poorly. But the, some of the ideas in this went towards my level Kira. This gameplay was fun though. Also in 2019, I had this design level, which was heavily inspired by my friend Nogs. I sort of like inspired by his levels, Macula and the other one. This gameplay is like really good actually. I wish I did something with it, but it was just really unoriginal, and I didn't know how to make design. I think it was a common thing for me to just like, try to recreate people's styles, because this is like Depish 16, his style, but then it never went anywhere, and it just doesn't look too good anyways. Oh yeah, and then also like really late 2018, early 2019, I was doing this collaboration with Cthulhu. He made this really nice part, I made this not so nice part and then the level never went anywhere. Kinda disappointing, but oh well. I started off 2020 with this really weird concept. 
that I just made in like 10 minutes and then it never went anywhere. But I don't know, I could have made a cool level. Technically this isn't my unfinished level, it was made for like a collaboration, but I had made this glow part for like a modern mega collab for some reason. Which is like, definitely it takes stuff from that Nogs level I was making, which is a bit more original, I'm kind of proud of it. <laughs> this level Glitter Bomb, this was like a creating team's mega collab that I had made the gameplay for, and nobody really made parts in this. Like there's a couple people that did, but this level was supposed to be a lot longer than it is. And then the song just got banned, so everybody sort of quit. I tried to finish the level myself by making parts myself, but it was really ugly, so <laughs> like, I stopped. I also made this really weird art level that year. There's like no contrast anywhere, so that kind of sucks. Another level is not really an unfinished level of mine, it's more just a collab part that was never used. Went for more like neon design. And then of course, Xylanox's factory styled video must have came out this year, because I tried my hand at it, but I didn't go any further than the first like couple seconds. But the gameplay's pretty fun. This was an unfinished collab I had started with a friend of mine. It just never really went anywhere, and my part's pretty bad. Another collab part that never went anywhere, and I'm really sad that this level didn't get finished, because like, the entire level, like, everybody was supposed to make, like, an evolution themed part, and I got Flareon, and I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. I think I was in a creating rut for quite a while, and I made this, like, really short layout I made kind of ugly designs, but it never went anywhere. This probably shouldn't be included, but I made this in like five minutes on like a car ride. The colors suck. It's generic. <laughs> Just sucks. Really proud of this layout though, because it was like, I think Insane Demon difficulty, which I'm not good at making harder levels. It was intended to be a sequel to my level Vibrant Imagination, I think, which was an Easy Demon mega collab I had hosted. I had some plans for it. I never really went anywhere, but I'm just really proud of like this fast gameplay, especially in this UFO, it's just it's so satisfying. In 2020, I had released a level called Optimistic Groove, which was inspired by like Howler's levels, or Optowolf at the time. <laughs> like It's pretty unoriginal, but I had a lot of fun making it. And then Serufifi commented on that and was like, make a level for me or you're stupid cringe. So I started making a level that was inspired by his levels. This never went anywhere, but I used a lot of these ideas and made them more original and put in my level flick. I also started making like kind of like experimental, well, experimental for me levels. And this was a layout that Split gave me. I just started making it kind of in a style at the time, but it's just kind of bad. Also early that year, I started making a level in like Vezimelon style, sort of, because I just did that with a lot of creators. This sucked and was definitely not original, so I quit. I was invited to join this mega collab by Saranox, and I started making like a pretty cool design, but then I never finished it. But I think the level's up right now. Also that year, I was given an unfinished level by Whirl, which was themed around a Terraria mod, I forget the name, I'm sorry. He made this first part, and then I made the second part, aside from the background. And I'm pretty proud of how I managed to theme it, because I have never been an art creator, but I think I had some cool ideas here. This is another really ambitious, extra long level that I only made a single part in that I still think is really cool. I was showing it to some people and they thought it was bad, but I don't know, I kinda like the atmosphere I was making here. I never went anywhere. This is another collab part for a level that was never finished. It was supposed to be a one day collab, and I finished my part in 15 minutes, which you could probably tell by how bad it is. I then made this abomination. It's like really, really empty and like formulaic, I guess. It's pretty bad. I then started making a sequel to my level Purity. It was inspired by Spoofy, like that really rainbow, like fast-paced, upbeat style. And I was gonna make a sequel to it. But then I started making these, like this design here and it, in the background and just everything was just like, oh, this is terrible. This is a level I made, I don't know, it's really odd, but whenever I would make this, I'd feel like really terrible. So, which is why I stopped adding on to it. 
But I think it's like kinda creative for what it is. It has neat sync. This is an unfinished collab between my friend Ditto and I, where I would decorate to the mom parts of the song, like, you know, Friday Night Funkin'. I would decorate the mom parts, he would decorate the boyfriend part. And we just go back and forth with that. And then there's this dual part where both the mom and the boyfriend sing. So I was going to decorate the top half or something. He was going to decorate the other half. I don't know. I think that would have been like, really cool. But it was just like pretty ambitious. Probably should even mention this, but I made this in like 15 minutes while camping. It's kind of ugly. But oh well. Immediately after finishing my level Love Fool, in 2021, I started working on this level, which I was going to name Heartache or something, I don't know. But I wasn't like too happy with how this was going, so I just stopped. In 2021, I made layouts to like 14 different Panda Eye songs, but this one I decorated the last part a bit. It was pretty creative, I just didn't have any motivation to finish it. And then I made this like insane or extreme demon layout and I had like really ambitious ideas for it and I realized I don't know how to make hard gameplay. This was like too fast paced. It's annoying. This was a layout that Split72 made again and I had started decorating it. It's one of the first things I made on PC. Like every level up until this point I had made on mobile. Except maybe that last layout. It was a fun layout. I kind of wish I finished it. This was the actual first thing I made on PC, like, ever. You can probably tell by how ugly the contrast here is. I don't know, there's some neat ideas. After making my level Roger that year, I started making Argyle. I don't know why this never went anywhere. I was pretty proud of this atmosphere. Another level I made in like half an hour, it was just away from home. I don't know, it was simple, but it was pretty fun. And then here's the start of like a ton of like really different levels I started making 2021. I made this like weird glow level, but it just didn't know how to continue it. I had really fun gameplay too. Here are some weird experimental modern level that I was making on a call with Ditto. If he was going to make one half, I would have made the other half on call, which we eventually used later in my level, Level in a Minute. We built that in a similar way. I wasn't too proud of this first half of the part, but then it switches up in colors and looks really nice. This is a layout to a Not A Newground song, and it's like unnecessarily difficult, and this last part is like way too fast. I really, really like this gameplay. I just had no ideas at the time. Okay, I really like this level specifically because I have this like odd ball part right here, and then I put an asymmetrical duel in it, yet it's like really easy to like sight read. I got it. I got a Glock in my Rory. And then 2022, I started off the year by making this layout, which I initially had planned to make like fully modern, but then I tried to incorporate some design e elements into it, but it was just like kind of ugly. Well, this layout's super fun too. I another layout I wish I finished. And then I had this idea for like rings to go through and make it sort of like a nine circle flashing effect, which I didn't end up doing. But I did use a similar idea in my level five star crest, which I'll show on screen too. Wow. When I was trying to get back into creating in 2022, I made whatever this is. I spent like way too long on this and it didn't go anywhere. I also made this Mega Collab part in like a few minutes on like a really bad device. This Mega Collab was never finished, but this part's like, I don't know how to feel about it. It has odd colors, generic designs, it's just weird. Immediately after watching Wolsey's video on this effect, I decided to recreate it and make a simple little thing to it, which I never planned to finish for obvious reasons. It's kind of terrible. I don't know, it was fun at the time. That year, I also had this collab I wanted to do with a friend, and I made this part, which is kind of strange, but I really like it still. And we just it never went anywhere. I also made a really fun layout to this song that I tried to decorate, but I had no ideas again. It looked kind of weird, and so I wanted to like sort of do a build swap with this layout, but that never ended up happening. I really like this ball part here where it has like the sink in the mini ball. But yeah, I have a lot of like layouts that never went anywhere. Speaking of layouts that never went anywhere, I have this layout to one of my friend's remixes of a break song, and it's like a super like, can actually like 
good sounding remix is super funny and this gameplay is synced really nicely and it's so fun but i had no idea how i was going to decorate this and i sort of just gave up on the layout this level is a build swap between like an old friend of mine who were like we made this really odd level pretty proud of what i contributed to this but then they sort of disappeared off the face of the earth and this never went anywhere I went back to trying to make a sequel to Purity, but the gameplay near the end really sucks, and I placed this single design down and wasn't happy with it, so I quit. But I'm proud of this transition, because it sort of freezes and throws you into the level. It's really fun. I made the super generic level to the same song as the build swap layout previously, because I saw like the background here, I saw it on a building and thought it would make a cool jump trash level. I made like 45 seconds of a level, and it's like super generic it's kind of cute i like it but then i got to this last wave part and i didn't like the pulsing objects and how they look so i gave up it's probably the best layout i've ever made it was going to be like a similar level to that friday night funkin level that dado and i are going to do it was going to be centered around these duels that him and i were going to decorate top half bottom half but it was just like really ambitious and i didn't know how to continue the layout i might actually like continue this someday like it's super fun this was like a pretty like good level at first, like I love this first part still. It was like kind of Neo Design inspired, but with like a modern twist on it. It was fun. And then this part happened, it's super ugly art I made myself. I just, I think the big thing is like the objects in the background look terrible. I'm still really upset I never finished this. I made this around the time everybody was making those door bay basic levels, and I was just theming around rainbows, I thought that'd be funny, but it never went further than the first 8 seconds. I'm like pretty proud of these designs, because they took forever to make, but then I was taking so long, so I got really demotivated, and but I had like a lot of cool ideas for a really atmospheric level. And then this year, beginning of the year, my IRL friend messaged me and he was like, Hey, I challenge you to a duel. Let's see who can make the best level in an hour. Keep in mind, this is the same friend that made this level. So it was fun. I made this in 45 minutes. It's really rushed. It still like has neat ideas. And then he made this level. So I think he won the duel. This level is like clearly better. I made this kind of like pretty generic kind of cute level on the airplane like all of this was entirely built on a plane earlier this year the kid next to me said that it was really really cool so shout out that kid <laughs> and i still want to finish this maybe upload it onto an alt account because it's not that good but it's like a fun level this was a layout i started with the intent of turning into a build swap never finished it though because it was like i don't know how to build to ghost by nellward at like 4am one night, I got the idea to like try out color banding, so I did this, but it's really bad. Speaking of Dora Bay, I made this very Dora Bay inspired layout, and it was going to be for a mega collab with a couple of my friends. It all stemmed from my one friend saying like, so you know, there's like Dora Bay quiz levels. He said like Dora Bay midterm exam, which I thought was hilarious, so I'm like, we got to turn this into an actual level. I think nobody started decorating on it, so it's kind of a shame except somebody did make a part to this layout i forgot <laughs> sorry william i only just saw these i he gave me this part in like february what this is cute and then like kind of recently i started making this really repetitive and weird memory demon layout which wouldn't have been too fun especially this first part and this like ball part is pretty neat but then i sort of gave up because i'm like i don't know how to decorate this and then a friend of mine gave me this layout just randomly so i started making this kind of like glowy level i ran out of motivation really quickly this level is crazy like this is a really rough design i put down quickly but this gameplay is like super silly and quirky and goofy and like really fun too i intended to turn this into a collab but that never went anywhere either i started working on this level i think like really early 2023 I don't know, just neat designs, but I never went anywhere as a level. It sucks because this is also some of my best gameplay. So yeah, that's pretty much it for unfinished levels, or at least notable unfinished levels. So hopefully that like was interesting to some people. I don't know, I find it cool to look through my past creation sometimes, just look at how I've evolved as a creator, you know? So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.
cell, see the jaw drop, face mouth like a bass head, Libra scale, balance both sides, and she threw it well, so well, so well, yeah.